Farewell Fairfield. I was saving this video in hopes that Fairfield Lake State Park would reopen after Texas Parks and Wildlife month-long battle to buy the 5,000 acre property that includes Fairfield Lake State Park as of December 7, 2023 is permanently closed. If you've never been to this park before, then join us on this virtual tour of our farewell visit to Fairfield Lake State Park. And if you have visited Fairfield Lake State Park in the past, let us know some of your favorite trails or memories at the park. Let us know in the comments. Now, let's jump into the video and see what this park is all about. With grassland prairies to the west and a pine forest to the east, Fairfield Lake State Park has the best of both worlds for you to explore. It's a great park to hike, bike, and fish. Fairfield Lake State Park has over 24,000 acres to fish and it's one of the first areas of the park we checked out. And one thing to be on the lookout is the wildlife in the park. You can see plenty of river otters, raccoons, beavers, armadillos, and even bald eagles. At this lake, you can expect to catch largemouth bass and catfish. The fishing at this park is going to be missed. And on our visit, we've seen plenty of folks taking advantage of this amazing lake. One of the more unique points of interest of the park is the historic cemetery with over 90 marked and unmarked graves. Four generations of chancellors are buried right here, including pioneer settlers to the area, enslaved people, Civil War and World War II veterans are laid to rest right here. There's not many Texas state parks that have cemeteries inside the park boundaries. The cemetery is still in use and it has been for more than 140 years. I'll leave a link in the description to some articles worth reading all about this unique and historic cemetery. Let's talk about one of my favorite activities inside the park, hiking. Fairfield Lake State Park has over 11 miles of hiking and biking trails. And the first trail on our list was the nature trail. This is an easy two mile trail and it's a wonderful forested trail with some beautiful views of the lake from different vantage points. There's an abundance of wildlife to observe in the more quieter areas in the woods. We had the whole trails to ourselves and it was a peaceful hike. One of the more shorter trails in the park is the bird watching trail. Just under a mile, be on the lookout for birds in action. On our visit, we seen plenty of blue herons and if you're lucky, you might even spot a bald eagle. We had a hard time finding the entrance to the Dockery Trail. There was plenty of construction going on inside and around the park. We even came across a huge snake crossing the road. Can anyone identify what kind of snake this is? Let us know in the comments. And I couldn't leave Fairfield without hiking this trail. And we finally found the entrance to the Dockery Trail. It's the longest trail inside the park with a distance over five miles. This is a hiking, biking, and equestrian trail and has some elevation changes, which makes it a moderate challenge. Along the trail, we believe we came across the timber rattlesnake as we can hear them along the trail. In the middle of our hike, you can see the looming construction happening. I was really cheering for this park to reopen and sad to see it go. On the positive side, Proposition 14 passed and Texas could purchase more land in the future. Our visit to Fairfield Lake State Park was nothing short but amazing. And we want to hear from you guys. Have you visited this park before? And if you have, what are some of your favorite memories inside the park? Let us know in the comments. Support Mr. Rest Travel Quest by giving this video a like, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. We love our Texas State Park community and hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.